thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance. They've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Gone. That pressure coming, and they got him once again. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. So now following the sack, off of the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's airing it out for Williams. They got his man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's gone. And that's a loss of seven on the first down play. A hold to dig out of here, second and 17. comes Richard on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Raiders' offense now, they trot back out. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. I think that's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one-play drive where you throw an interception... A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance, maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him play another one. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. He used the word relentless a lot with guys 
who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Jacobs, and he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. The last run got six, now second and four. So if you can play a defense in this one, they're flipping into good, and so bad, because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier to shut it down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. On second down now, it's Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Colton Miller, former first-round pick, called for the penalty there. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. The first down and more for Jacobs. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. 50 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, Parker, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he's just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. <laughs> to throw his car. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown, but it'll be second down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Now Carr... He'll let this go deep for runs. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Here he runs the intended receiver. And it's third down. Call. He's going deep for Brown. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. John Brown with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Well, there was a little extra pressure with that one because it was third down. He didn't care. He snagged it with one hand like it was routine. The key is to make a play in a tough situation. Doesn't matter how. And in this case, one-handed gets it done. Terrific play for us to watch. Carlson on for the PAT. Makes it a nine-point game. A drive that time of six plays. And it winds up at six points for the Raiders. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Raven now on the return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Did they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so because the secondary, they really look close. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. 
And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up. And you feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on him a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to the back. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Now a first down throw, gone. A look over the middle, and he's got Perriman. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Good stop, throw, and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Down, it's gone. Open man is Quintess Cephas. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A play fake for Swift. Now gone. Bounce has it. Left side. His first catch. Good for nine and a first down. a hand off to Swift. A nice little juke. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. 